All right, so he's playing first as expected. All right, this is a very light land hand, so I'm gonna mulligan it. Um, yeah, I can't keep this one either. All right, I guess we just hope to draw a white source for the voice, and then our hand actually isn't that terrible. All right, well, any land will be fine for our hand, I guess, because we can go drag Megler into Varls with protection, and then hopefully draw a white source for restoration slash voice. All right, he's got an aristocrat. All right, not the most optimal draws so far, but we'll see where it takes us. Taken two. He has nothing, possibly holding up removal. Oh, okay, that's good news. Um, I think I'm just gonna lead off with Drag Mangler here. Start putting some pressure on him before he like resolves a reckoner or something. This could be Falconrath, which is kind of annoying. Oh, it's Soren. I mean, as we saw from the last game, it is beatable. This time we do have a Restoration Angel, as long as we draw the mana for it. He's getting in, interesting. Okay. All right, third land. Um, hmm. So I guess the plan is just to resto. Not even sure if I want to flash it in to kill his aristocrat because he could have tragic slope up to kill it. I really want it to stay around so I can kill Soren. Um, for now, I'll just clear out his vampire token, I guess. Yep, I'm just going to make a, a resto because he's just going to make infinite ground dudes like last time. We're going to have a very hard time getting rid of Soren. I'm not going to flash in to kill the aristocrat. Uh, I mean, depends on what he plays. Alright, he made his guy pre-combat. Oh, this is Falcon Wrath. Yep. Alright, so... In this case, we will, since he's tapped out, block the aristocrat, force him to sack something. Probably going to sack his vampire, but Soren's going to die. So it's an interesting decision, actually. All right, so we did choose to go with that. So hopefully we draw a tragic slip now to deal with this aristocrat. Otherwise, we might have a difficult time this game. All right, there's a cavern. So I guess we can play our Obsidat when the time comes. Um, for now, I don't know. Maybe I'll just name Troll, because Troll is one of the few creature types that is shared among our creatures with Farrells and Lotleth Troll, which are both trolls. Um, yeah, I guess just uh, get Soren out of here. We're just going to have to put as much pressure on them as possible, I think. So we're going to go Troll. We'll go one, two, three, barrels, and voice. And I think the plan is just sack the voice end of turn um, to make an elemental and then scavenge it next turn. Maybe we draw a haster and kill him. All right, so he's just getting it in the air. We're dead next turn, so we need something. All right, so let's sack. Make a 4-4. Four, four. Actually, we're not dead because we have the resto to block. Oh, there's an at. That was a very good draw for our, for us. Um, yeah, let's just bash here, leave the resto back, and just see what he does. Even if he has the slip, we're not dead this way. Wow, that was very interesting play. Oh, no, he's sacking to the aristocrat. Makes sense. All right, so we're going to go Obzidot. Gain some life. Give us some wriggle room. And phase Exilem. 
while he's thinking before the trigger goes on the stack, I guess. So there is a few ways he could kill us here. If he finds a way to kill our Restro and play a human. Okay, so, yeah. That's good news. That means we do survive a turn. He's probably going to have to hold back his guy on defense. Maybe not. Wars off charm. Yeah, we are dead. Alright, yeah, he killed our guy. Yep. GG's. Alright, so let's go to game three. Um, so we had a better start that time. Hmm, maybe I bring in the third Skurzdag. I'll take out another Traveler, I guess. And, uh, yeah, I'll just go with this. It seems like our matchup was fine that game. He just had a good Falconroth draw that we can really deal with. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe we go up to four Tragic Slips. Um, seems pretty essential for this matchup. Um, but we'll see how this game goes. Maybe it's just because I mold the five. Um, this hand is actually keepable. Um, we only have two lands, one of which is a cavern, but if we name Troll, we can cast all the creatures in our deck, or in our hand, rather. So yeah, we'll go Godless. And we have a Tragic Slip this turn, or this game, with the Varls to, to sack stuff to turn on Morbid. Another troll. So we'll name troll and go Lotlith and hopefully bring the beats this game. And by bring the beats, I mean I want to draw lands for the rest of the game. I want to get this Vraska online at some point if he plays a Sorin. Alright, so he's killing our guy. That's actually fine. I could have pumped this toughness to, uh, make him lose more life, but that doesn't seem very beneficial. Um, Skurzdike High Priest is pretty bad right now. I'd rather just play a lot with. Really need that third land. Is this a Reckoner? Another Orzhov Charm. That's pretty annoying. Hmm. Well, now we have no choice but to play our High Priest. Yeah, this hand actually looks very, very bad now that he removed our two turn two plays and played the Lingering Souls. Like, we need to land now just to stay in it. Otherwise, we're going to be in pretty bad shape. We need to go, like, land into Lingering Souls. Uh, can't even cast this voice. Yeah, we're in some trouble. Um, I guess I could just... I don't want to waste this tragic slip. I want to wait until he has a, a Falcon Wrath. <laughs> We're both hosed, he said. Except that he's still superiorly ahead. Yeah, now he's very ahead. Okay. I'm actually going to slip this uh, artist right now. He, he, he missed a land drop as well, so I could crawl back into this. Um, man, still can't cast anything. That's really frustrating. 23 lands, or actually, sideboarding, it's 24 lands, which is more than enough, so I know it's not a deck construction error. Uh, I've drawn one-fifth of our deck and only seen one-twelfth of our lands. It's definitely just a variance issue. That's all right. That's how we live and learn. You get Soren online. He still beats in the air. I mean, if we can get Vraska online, maybe. All right, there's a land. Um, so, hmm, what are my options here? Well, I guess I'll get rid of his vampire again, just to try to get as many guys off the board as possible. You just took it. Okay. Um, so here I think I just play, hmm. I'll play the Varls, since it lets us curve out the best this way. Pl 
Plus if we draw lingering souls, we can get uh some five five beats going. So we do have a chance. So ideal draws at this point are Doom Traveler or uh Lingering Souls. Actually no, we don't even need it. We have it in hand. We have the voice of resurgence. Because we play the the voice, Sack at Devarol is turning on Morbid. Uh, it makes a token, and then we have two creatures to tap w for uh, the High Priest ability. As long as he doesn't have any disruption, um, that actually could work out very well for us. And he did waste two Orzhov Charms while there's the third. Um, yeah, the unfortunate thing is even if we draw land, we can't play Voice and Cartel Aristocrat next turn. Um not sure if I want to save this Varls right now. I don't think I do because this High Priest is actually going to get me into this game. So I'm just going to let it resolve. Now I need some like Woodland Cemeteries. He's getting in 4-2. Yeah, we had the the no lands draw and he had the triple or resolve draw it's a bit unfortunate but not much we can do so here we just run out um, I'll play voice of resurgence to give him less incentive to kill it so next turn assuming everything survives we can um, we can aristocrat and make a 5-5 five five, assuming everything goes well Yeah, and there's the Falcon Wrath, which is actually not too bad because we can block the uh, the Falcon Wrath with our 5-5. Five five. Uh, as long as he doesn't play a human next turn, it'll survive. So yeah, while he's tapped out, I think I'm just going to make my guy. Man, still not drawing any lands. You don't know how good this hand would be if I had like two more lands in play right now. Um, so we're going to go... Hmm, let's see. I mean, I could get in with the voice first, but if he triple blocks, then that turns off our morbid and we lose. Um, I don't think we can risk that, even though it might give us a better chance to win. I'm just going to do this now. Sack. Elemental. 3 3. Um. Hmm. So actually, hmm. I don't think this actually lets us survive because we have to tap all our guys to make the five five, and then his other guys just kill us. So, yeah. Demon. I'll make it just because I can. That's a black demon. Yeah, so we're just dead if he attacks. Hopefully he thinks we're bluffing something with our one colorless mana floating. Hmm. Wow, that was interesting. Oh, okay, that works too. Yep, GG. Even though it wasn't really a GG, because we didn't draw lands. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and he could have just made an emblem. I forgot about that, so we were dead no matter what we did. I'll show him the hand we were working with there. All right, well, this is an interesting matchup at least, even though it went pretty badly in games one and two. So, yep, hopefully it goes better for us the next couple rounds.